Good morning, reefers. I'm Daniel. Today we're talking about the top five mistakes made by new reefers with new aquariums. There's a lot of different mistakes and a lot of people make them, but I just wanted to go over a few things and see what you guys think about them, what you have to say. So number one mistake I would say is not using an RODI system. People who mix up their salt water in the beginning and if you're just using tap water and you don't have an RODI system filtering out your water, then you can get algae outbreaks because the silicates can um, help feed the cyanobacteria and the diatoms and all that stuff so it can cause unsightly algae. So it's good to use a RODI system, something like this that you can hook up to your system and you wanna get zero TDS water before you mix your salt. So, so that's one of the things. And number two, um, which is, salt is important as I was just talking about, a lot of people make a mistake. Uh, they don't buy bacteria and they're so worried about putting fish in their tank. And number two is you want a quality salt and you want to add bacteria when starting out your tank. So a lot of people want a cheap salt and they get instant oceans or the reef crystals, whatever it is. And I try to recommend get a good salt right away, something like the full synthetic Fritz salt. Um, because it'll save you a headache later on and I'll tell you why more on that so also with salt you want to make sure you get a good testing tool something like this salinity checker um, because those floating hydrometers for checking salinity the calibration on them sometimes can be a little off sometimes having bubbles can mess with it so making sure your salt is the correct salinity is also an issue that some people make and getting good test kits, having good equipment is important, which is the success of your aquarium. So number four, I'm going through these pretty quickly, guys, is an auto top-off system. So these all kind of tie in together. Uh, without an auto top-off system, like the one here on the Red Sea or some other systems, you get funny salinity. So if you have a lot of evaporation going on, and your tank is losing water and you don't have a large system maybe you have something small and you notice that just from a couple inches of of water evaporating that your salinity is changing so stability is key with a new tank stability is the number one thing to success and you know there's a lot of errors there so you want to eliminate them and keep your water nice and happy so number five which I'm just gonna throw it out there is rushing. A lot of beginners, you start an aquarium um, and you just wanna rush into it. We all do it. We wanna get awesome equipment. We get these new lights, we throw them on, they're so bright and we don't even let the bacteria get in there. We start adding inverts and different things and fish and they're picking out the rocks all before any of the stuff got a chance to establish. So you're adding a mandarin to your rock and he's wiping out your culture, the copepod so fast they never really get a chance to replenish. So taking your time, um, patience is probably the number, number one thing when it comes to starting a new aquarium. So many people want to rush and it's just really hard. Uh, I noticed, you know, haste makes waste. So you want to be patient, you want to do this the right way. You know, when you're adding your sand, it's nice to add it all at one time instead of adding it later on because you know, it just can add issues. So even with the rocks, it's okay to add rocks later on, but it's nice to know what you're trying to accomplish in the beginning. So that's my quick little update for everyone. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them below. If you're curious about why tap water is not good, leave a question or comment and I can do a video on the RODI systems and why they're so important and what breakdown and what parts are in the RODI system. So, and also the salt, so many people want to upgrade equipment. I see people going out and buying all these reactors and this and that and start off with a good salt and a good RDI system and you'll be so much happier. And then if you may not need that equipment. So you may not need to spend that extra money for that filtration. And when you start out slow, it's easier to figure out what your system's doing and reading the requirements. So you can have great, great success with an aquarium in just a canister filter, but if you set it up quickly and you're rushing and you're not doing what you need to and you overstock your aquarium before the filtration has a chance to work and function properly, 
then like I said, you're just gonna eliminate that bacteria and constantly have problems. So, so that's my two cents. As always, thanks for watching Happy Reefing. I hope you hit that subscribe button. If not, make sure you do it now. Share this video with a friend. If you're on Reef to Reef, make sure you make a comment. Let everyone know we did just open a brand new store. We are on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all that good stuff. Um, I think we're on Twitter. I don't know, maybe. But <laughs> if you have something to share, we are here for you guys. I'm doing this video late at night. We just got some new inventory, so we have to add it to the systems. And it's always, always something. So everyone loves their local fish store and everyone wants to come. But you don't realize how much work behind the scenes it takes to operate and run a fish store. So and we do appreciate our customers and the support, those of you who do see us working hard all the time. So as always, thank you for watching. Happy reefing. Stay tuned for more.